Welcome back, friends. Nikki Burt is the Yelp Indie Community Director, and she's here to share the top five bars in Indie to watch some World Cup matches at. Hi, Nikki. Hi. Thanks for coming to the show. Perfect because Union Jack is on your list. Yeah, exactly. Of it course. Would have been awkward if they weren't. <laughs> would have been right, a exactly. Off. Genuinely, <laughs> they were, and this is such a great yeah. concept for yes. people to check out some of these places. Absolutely. So we pulled Yelp data to find the top five sports bars in the city to watch the World Cup games at. Nice. So we did that by pulling a list of sports bars in the city that mentioned the word soccer and reviews, and then we ranked okay. those places based on their ratings and volume of reviews. So okay. we have a full spread of food today. Yeah. So Drum roll, please. We have our first place winner is Chatham Tap right over here. Yay, I love Chatham Tap. Yeah. So tasty. Oh, wait, they are a British pub with three locations around the city. So they're located on Mass Ave, um, Butler University, and Fishers as well. Yep. And so they are going to be opening up early for a lot of the games. So all of the game schedules, all of their new hours, exactly. Go ahead and steal a fry. <laughs> um, they're all going to be posted on their website. So you can check them out there. If you're there, you have to try their wings. Yes. So some of my friends say they're the best wings in the city. So that's my wife's for debate. absolute favorite. <laughs> she agrees. She's She's like, like, we, yeah, she'll just get the wings and take them home. Yeah, yeah they're exactly. Great. They're so exactly. Good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, so be sure to order those, and then they have a lot of great British fare too, like the fish and chips yep. and a lot of good melty, cheesy, delicious sandwiches. So this is the pesto melt. And then what's more British than washing it down with a pint of beer as well, yeah. of course. Right, are you feeling like another drink? Uh, only if you do it. <laughs> all right. All right, okay, all right. What are we sipping on here, Nikki, do you know? Yeah, so this is from um, St. Joseph Brewery. Okay. Um, we have a nice lager. Cheers, buddy. Enjoy. Yeah, we will. Thank you. <laughs> Great way to start off the morning, right? Mm -hmm. Midweek. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Got a workout in, and then we eat and drink all morning. Exactly. Yeah. So in, in second place over here, we have Union Jacks, which we just touched on. They are an awesome pub, also Love a British it. pub with two locations. They have one in Broderpool and in Westfield and they will also be opening up early for a lot of the games and the Broderpool location will have a tent out back so they can accommodate more people to watch the game so again if you so have a great. group great place to oh, visit yeah. So <laughs> yeah. yes. great atmosphere. and as you can see they have some breakfast items in addition to their famous deep dish pizza which is my personal favorite that's what I always get when I go and <laughs> I'm tagging along with people watching the game. Yeah, so it looks fantastic. Order that. <laughs> All right. Um, and then in third place, we don't have them on the table right now, but Nine Irish Brothers is located oh, yeah. on oh, yeah. Mass Ave. Mm -hmm. yeah. They're an Irish pub as well, so they nice. often have live music and a really fun, lively atmosphere. Yeah. And so yeah. Um, they'll be showing a lot of the games during their normal hours. I always go there on St. Patrick's Day, but it's oh, yeah. around. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> lively is a great word to describe an Irish pub. <laughs> exactly. Lively. Yeah. yeah very lively. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. What else we got, Nikki? Um, so then in fourth over. Here we have Brockway Public House. They're also oh, yeah. an Irish pub. Sure. Um, and they're located in Carmel, so they're on the north side. And they will be opening up early that first week of World Cup games. Yep. <laughs> exactly. Like Get that chip. Like over here. Yeah, so those are Scotch eggs. And they're actually really hard to come by in Indianapolis. Yeah. So while you're there, that. I know, you have to get them while you're there. Oh, so they're good, Jill. It's, really, good. it's essentially a boiled yeah. egg and it's wrapped in sausage and it's either fried or boiled. Mm -hmm. um, and then we have a delicious creamy aioli as well. So wow. I mean, you know yeah. it's going to be good. So definitely try, try those. Yeah. Branch out while you're there. Mm -hmm. We have some other good Irish uh, classics like the Reuben sandwich and the fish and chips as well. So yeah. you're going to be covered with food wherever you go. But then in fifth place, we have the District Tap. All right. Um, they're famous for their big venues, so if you've ever been, they have a location at the Keystone Crossing area and downtown. Um, they have tons of TVs, so if you have family in for Thanksgiving, yeah. that would be a good place to go and bring your whole crew, because you'll probably find room there as well. So, so Chatham, Union Jack, mm -hmm. uh, Nine Irish, Nine Irish, Brockway Public Brockway House, Pub, and uh, District, uh, District Tap. Tap. Yep, that's, that's a solid lineup. I know. No shortage of places yeah. to just watch the game, and yep. you can't exactly. beat it when you have an atmosphere of people that are just really excited and coming yeah. together. Absolutely. Yeah. And my husband's actually from England, so he has family what? flying in from England nice. to watch the games in Indianapolis at these pubs. So it's going to be really great. fun. We've been planning that this for so great. months. Oh, that's fun. Big in our household. <laughs> and a lot of people know, but we are carrying the games on our air. So yeah. this is the mm -hmm. station where you watch it. We've actually exactly. been warning people we're going to be off the air for a little yeah. bit because yeah. of the world. Just so yeah. you know. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> it's man. such a celebration. Yeah, I, I I'm hope, so excited. I hope a soccer hooligan fight breaks out because Indianapolis <laughs> is not being aired that day. Yeah. I hope they're like, 
give me any now. You're going to be in the middle of it. Yeah, I think it'd be I fun. It'd be great You time. and I will just be here like this. Yeah, like, yeah. Well, why not? Kicking back. Uh -huh. Yeah. yeah. Kicking back. And seriously, though, we do hear a lot from viewers that one of their favorite parts of this show is us recommending restaurants that they can Absolutely. check out around town, new places to, to visit. Yes. And this is so fun that you've ranked the top five yes. bars yeah. to watch these games at. It's I so cool. I didn't even know about this pub with the, with the egg dish, so yeah. now yeah. I'm going to have to check that out now. Exactly, awesome. exactly. And actually, on our trend report last year, it showed that more people are wanting to visit sports bars this year more yeah. than ever. Just nice. after COVID, people are yeah. ready to get out and sure. get in that group atmosphere. So it's, it's fun. <laughs> we'll remind it. people yeah. if they would just like to follow along with everything that you guys are doing. What's yeah. the best way, Nikki? Absolutely. So you can follow us on social media at Yelp Indie to find all of the local spots, um, as well as download the Yelp app to find, you know, maybe your local Irish or British pub that you can watch yeah. the game at. So. That's great. Nikki, yeah. thank you so much for being here. Thanks for bringing thank the spreads. You. Thanks and for thanks for the, uh, yeah, no the five pubs that uh, are represented here today. Yes, thanks congratulations. So Thank yeah. you so much. Yeah.